Okay, I'm going to show you some very interesting facts about how the worship of the Egyptian goddess Isis actually influenced the Roman Catholic veneration of their goddess Mary. I'm going to show you something very interesting from Wikipedia, and people say, oh, Wikipedia is not a reliable source. They give the sources and the citations in the article, so and I'll be linking it in the description. But I'm going to show you a very interesting part uh, near the top of the article about the article about Isis. And this uh, part, it basically says, uh, the worship of Isis ended, was ended by the rise of Christianity in the 4th through 6th centuries CE, Common Era. Her worship may have influenced Christian beliefs and practices such as the veneration of Mary. Now obviously, Roman Catholicism is not Christianity, Roman Catholicism is Greco-Roman heathen religion. I find it very interesting how it says that the worship of Isis may have actually influenced the Catholic practices of veneration of Mary. I'm going to go further down into the article about how the worship of Isis possibly influenced the Catholic worship of Mary, which of course it did. It's no possibility. It did worship, influence that. Because Roman Catholicism is just repackaged Greco Roman, Egyptian, Babylonian heathenism. But further down in the article, it says. A contentious question about Isis is whether her cult influenced Christianity, Catholicism. Uh, some Isaiah customs, Isaiah customs may have been among the pagan religious practices that were incorporated into Christian Catholic traditions as the Roman Empire was Catholicized. I'm changing the wording. Uh, Andreas uh, Folodai, hope I'm saying the name right, for instance, argued in the 1930s that the medieval carnival festival in which a model of the a model boat was carried developed from the Nave, Navigaeum Isidaeus. Hope I'm saying those words right. Much attention focuses on whether the traits of Christianity were borrowed from pagan mystery cults, including that of Isis. The more devoted members of Isis's cult made a personal commitment to a deity they regarded as superior, as some Christians, Catholics, did. Both Christianity and the Isis cult had an initiation rite, uh, the mysteries for Isis, baptism, and Catholicism. Uh, one of the mystery cults shared themes, uh, a god whose death and resurrection may be connected with the individual's worship, individual worshippers' well-being in the afterlife, resembles the central theme of Christianity, Catholicism. The suggestion that that Catholicism's basic basic beliefs were taken from mystery cults has provoked provoked heated debate for more than two hundred years. In response to these controversies, both both Hugh both Hugh Bowen and Jamie Alvar, scholars who study ancient mystery cults, suggest that the similarities between Catholicism and the mystery cults were not produced by direct borrowing of ideas, but by their common background, the Greco-Roman culture in which they all developed. Exactly. You know, and yes, they were influenced, by the way, but Roman Catholicism is just simply Greco-Roman heathen religion repackaged. So, of course, they're going to borrow a lot of these practices. Further down in the Wikipedia article, goes down. The image of Isis with Horus on her lap are often suggested as an influence in the on the icon iconography of Mary, particularly images of the Mary nursing the infant Jesus. Uh, as images of nursing women were rare in the ancient Mediterranean world outside of Egypt. Uh, Vincent Tran Tam, uh, Tin, hope I'm saying that word right, points out that the latest images of Isis uh, nursing Horus date to the 4th century CE, while the earliest images of Mary nursing Jesus date to the 7th century CE. Sabrina Higgins, uh, drawing on his studies, argues that if there is a connection between iconographies of Isis and Mary, it is limited to uh, images from Egypt. In contrast, Thomas F. Matthews and Norman Muller think Isis' pose in, in late antique, antique panel uh, paintings influenced several types of Marian icons inside and outside Egypt. Uh, Elizabeth Bowman says the early, these early Egyptian images of Mary nursing Jesus were meant to emphasize his divinity, uh, much, much as images of nursing goddess, di goddesses did in ancient Egyptian iconography. Higgins argues that such similarities prove that images of Isis influenced those of Mary, but not that Christians deliberately adopted Isis's iconography or other elements of her cult. Now again, Christian is Catholic, okay? 
Catholicism is not Christianity. The Roman Catholic Church is a Greco-Roman heathen perversion of Christianity, a biblical Bible-believing Christianity. But uh, very, very interesting. So you have the same symbology of Mary holding the child with Isis holding the baby Horus, you know. Uh, so I just wanted to show you guys that. Uh, the worship of the Egyptian goddess Isis did in fact, you know, those like, oh, well, maybe it did, maybe it didn't. No, it did in fact worship the Roman Catholic veneration veneration of Mary. And by the way, a good scripture to just totally debunk all these icons and, and idols of Mary I guess Catholics will say, well, they're not icons, they're, they're not idols, they're just icons. When you try to use Exodus 20, verse 4 to 5, they'll always have that response. Well, another really good scripture to use that totally destroys their icon worship is Deuteronomy chapter 4, verse 15 to 19. It talks about how you're not supposed to make any images of any figure, similitude of male or female, which is those icons uh, violate, or the host of heaven, which is what these these images of saints and praying the saints and all this other stuff. Uh, Roman Catholicism is blatantly just a Greco-Roman heathen religion repackage. But yeah, Deuteronomy chapter 4, verse 15 to 19, destroys all the Roman Catholic icon worship. But very, very true. Uh, the Isis, the, the Egyptian goddess Isis, did influence the Catholic Virgin Mary worship. And the Roman Catholic goddess of the Virgin Mary is just simply a repackaging of all the ancient goddesses, Isis, uh, what, Diana the Ephesians in Acts chapter 19, uh, all that. It's all just repackaged. That's what, that's what Satan does. He just repackages things. And that's all that Roman Catholicism is. It's just simply a counterfeit Christianity that is just simply Satan repackaging Greco-Roman heathen religion. So don't be deceived by Roman Catholicism. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with all the brethren. Goodbye.